Before you unpackage the door contents, confirm the dimensions of your opening match those printed on the box. Open the box and remove the head jam, jam, and sill sections. Then discard the packaging. Fit the corners of the screen together by matching the colored dots. Once the corners are tight, fasten through the sill and header with the screws provided. Repeat fastening at each corner. Pre-drill installation holes in the sill. Take care to avoid the sections marked in red. For interior mounted screens, pre-drill installation holes in the head track and lock jam. Take care to avoid the sections marked in red. Level and install the sill riser in front of the sill. The sill riser should be flush with the bottom of the sill. Fasten the sill riser with the appropriate fastener based on your subsill construction. Lift the frame into the opening. Take care not to twist the frame. Square the frame in relation to the door. Fasten the sill to the sill riser using the provided pan head screws. For exterior mounted screens, once you've squared the screen to the door, use the provided pan head screws to fasten the screen through the pre-drilled holes in the head track and lock jam into the exterior face of the door frame. For interior mounted screens, fasten the screen through the pre-drilled holes in the head track and lock jam into the wall framing. Starting at one side, remove the cable spool from the top of the jam. Take care not to pull the cable downward. Unspool the cable completely. Note the color-coded label on the pulley. Pull the black cable to the opposite corner key and thread it through the color-coded slot. Thread the black cable through the bottom color-coded pulley. Pull the cable back to the pull bar and thread through the color-matched pulley. Thread the cable up through the pull bar clamp. Tighten the set screw to hold the cable in place. Now thread the yellow cable through the opposite head jam pulley. Thread the yellow cable back through the pulley at the top of the pull bar. Thread the cable down through the cable clamp and tighten the set screw. On biparting screens, repeat the entire process for the other side. To tension the screen, pull the plastic ratchet strap until the mark on the tensioner is aligned with the center notch on the pull bar. On biparting screens, repeat the tensioning process on the opposite pull bar. Use a T20 screwdriver to release the cone clamp. This will allow the screen to move freely. Cycle the screen four times. Close the screen door and check the reveal. Adjust the tensioning until you've obtained an even reveal. If there's a larger gap between the pull bars at the bottom, either apply more tension to the lower springs or reduce the tension on the upper springs. 
cycle the screens four times and check the reveal again. Trim each cable and tuck the tag end of the cord and the ratchet strap into the end of the tensioning spring. Repeat the process on biparting screens. Install the head jam cover. Set the weather strip side in first and then roll the cover into place. Install the jam covers in the same manner as the head jam. Open the screen slightly and install the color matched sill end covers. Retract the screen and install the middle sill cover. Aligning the color-coded dots, install the magnetic strip into the pull bar. As a last step, install the optional drip cap. Your screen installation is now complete.